in the blue corner. We have Thomas Quinn from AVT taking on Jordan Mauer in the red corner from Lockdown MMA. I'm Harry Strott beside me. We've got Adam Newsom. Hello, Adam. Good evening, Harry. I'm really looking forward to this one. Both fighters have been in MMA sort of two to three years after both doing previous contact sports as well. So let's see what yeah. happens here. Mauer's pushing the pressure straight away. Nice light on his feet, moving well. Quinn with a good hook to the body. Going for the high kick, but caught by Quinn. Yeah, Quinn's looking to get this fight to the mark, I think. Right, let's go with a single leg. This fight brought to you tonight by Volt Menswear and Jim King. Now we're really pushing the pace on the, on the side of the cage and uh, really making work, uh, Quinn work here. A very lean unit, he's a, he looks like a strong guy. All that weight and power just forcing him against the cage. So Quinn's just got no option as if to uh, try and uh, fight against it. There was a beautiful knees. And he does well to reverse there. He got his underhooks in well, switch position on the cage. And now he's really looking to put the pressure on Mauer against the cage here. Yeah. Quinn with the underhook, looking to take the leg, go for the takedown. He's got the single leg, but he needs to be careful where his head is. And he picks him up, he tries to put him down, but the takedown defence of Mauer is looking really solid here. Our referee tonight, Nico Joker. What Mauer needs to do here is he needs to get this underhook on the underneath the left arm of Quinn and he needs to turn him, but he gets nice! Wow! wow. It looks as if he was struggling and then boom, up and over, slams him down. He needs to, uh, to free himself, get the right arm free, and then he can start raining down some shots or advancing his position. Yeah, he's looking like he's wanting to posture up now. Let's see what we can do on top. I said Jordan Mao is a powerful guy, and you saw then just how he just tried hip escape out and just try to use power. And Mao is just trying to keep that head pinned to his chest, making sure that Quinn can't posture up and start raining down shots. I said, well, he's there, it means that he's. Uh, oh. Well, he's there and he's tight, it means that he can't get any big, powerful shots off. And then he pushes away, Quinn again with the body lock, up and over. Not as neat, but he did the job. Quinn Mauer. is looking relentless here, he just keeps his pressure on, he's not letting Mauer get any space, any room, but they do break now. Oh, it's a low shot there That's from it. Mauer. Just separated with that low blow, don't think you're intentional. But fighter safety is paramount here at Cage Steel. Yeah, should get up to five minutes here, should he choose to use it. So Jordan Mao there from Lockdown MMA in the black shorts with the black gloves. Taking the uh, skydiving lesson courtesy of Thomas Quinn. I think he's definitely coming off worse. He's definitely coming off worse from the um, from the wrestling side of it, but he looked quite strong and dominant with the striking early on. So still all to play for. Yeah, it's been a really good fight so far, and uh, the both fighters just trying to uh, to be the dominant force against the side of the cage and uh, really make the opponent work. Strains the gas tank, strains the cardio. Let's see how they go on for Here we fight. are. Let's see if Thomas Quinn can keep that pressure on and try and get that wrestling. I really like the low kicks of Quinn as well. He seems to be halting the movement of uh, Yeah, that is a Mauer. beast. You could hear that just slamming down. Mixing it up with the hands as well. Nice swift one-two by Quinn. Oh, that's a beautiful lead. Yes, and big down. white hand. And he's storming the shots in. He's likely this could gonna be survive. It. End of round number one, saved by the bell. I think so too. That was massive, crumbled Quinn in the corner. And um, another five seconds and I think that would have been over. Absolutely, the, the lead up was beautiful for Mauer coming in. That's it, he brought it, I was say, well, lead up cut, but I think he brought it from his own, uh, his own hip, hit with that low. Yeah, for Sneak sure. Sneak through and then that big right hand over the top. Really set the combination up well. And, uh, landed, per landed perfectly and he kept, he kept that momentum then on. Like I say, he repeated that the fight ended where it did, but, um, well, let's see where he comes out in the second round, see if he wants to progress with that, or uh, whether Quinn's going to try and tie it up and, uh, and take that arsenal. That, now he's been hit, he's been stung with the power. He ain't going to want that. You know what I mean? Why would you want to stand in front of that guy again? 
Absolutely, and let's just see how his uh, his recovery is. You know, during during the rounds, let's see if he's fully recovered. I'd imagine that if not, we could see uh, exactly what you've just said, Harry, in, in regards to getting getting to uh, our closing the distance and pushing him towards the cage. Round number two was scheduled for three three-minute rounds. There we are, Quinn back in with that big right hand. It's quite fast and erratic with his movement. Head low and he's pushing his opponent against the fence. Personally, I had a chance to stand off and see if he could land another big bomb. Yeah, I agree, but Mao is a tough, like we've already mentioned, is a very tough unit in there. And you can see that he's, he's dominating when he's, he's the one applying the pressure on the cage. Quinn really needs to get the underhooks in here, get him turned, break, or start putting pressure on the cage himself. Quinn's got that overhook, preventing the uh, the takedown. He's got it quite tight. There we are. As we go through, he's going to dip to the leg. Pushes away. Nice break. I really like the movement of Mauer as well. He's so light on his feet. In and out of range, perfect in there. Yeah. Nice, fast, sharp shots, then boom, big heavy low kick. And this could be the theme for the rest of the fight here because Mauer is having so much control time in, in that cage. I was saying in the first round, he's such a strong unit. He, uh, if you put that with technique, then you've got a real devastating problem. So Tom Quinn fights out of ABT Leeds. Current record is 2 and 0. Oh. Trained MMA for at least two to three years uh, previously. Yeah, Quinn really needs to work off, off the cage here because the clock's ticking. The, the judges are scoring the points. We would imagine two. Now yeah. and there goes the turn. That's a good knee to the body on the break as well. Let's see if we're going to see any more of that striking from Mauer. Boom, again with that lead uppercut. Yeah, it seems to be a weapon that he really likes to utilise. Good body kick, but unfortunately he slips. He needs to be very careful now. This could be a lifeline for Thomas Quinn. I agree, and let's see what Quinn can do on top. He's, he's setting up the choke. He's got the arm. It looks as if the right arm's gone all the way through. Ah, he's giving it up. I know he's going to get it. Potential das. During the sprawl, where that's really well done by Mauer there. During the sprawl, he really scrambled, and now he's the one in side control on top, looking yeah. to work. He turned that from a very potentially dangerous situation to his advantage. Yeah. And now you've got a big, strong unit on top again. It looks like he's isolated the right arm of Tom Quinn, and he's just going to be able to rain these shots down. He's got a really nice mounted crucifix here, and if he starts getting these elbows off. Yeah, Quinn's, Quinn's trying to put the coming. legs up, but I, uh, I don't think he's going to get much with that. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Another really, really good round there. Finishes in a strong position on top. And that's, uh, that's a very good, strong round there by Jordan Mauer. Really interested to see how they come out in the next round as well. I really like the movement of Mauer. He moves uh, in and out of the range really, really well. And the low kicks of, uh, of Quinn are also really nice, really hard, you know, halting the movement of his Mauer, which could be the reason from both sides why the fight ended up towards the cage so much. This fight brought to you tonight by Bolt Menswear and Jim King. And here we go, the third and final round. Bolt play for in the third and final. Very slow attempt at a takedown there. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite obvious what, um, what Quinn, well, where Quinn wants to take this fight. And that's a big combination early on. Now he's Quinn's really putting it on him against the cage here. And that's a better takedown in uh, a bit of desperation there. Yeah, he's got the hands and he locked. To get it. Yeah. 
Good takedown. Good entry. Lock the hands. I think take. he just saved himself getting finished uh, with that takedown. Mauer needs to get back to his feet now. Easier said than done when you're in the third round of a fight, obviously. <laughs> For sure. He, um, a bad position. He's given up his back and needs to explode. If he wise to get the hooks in as well, I think he's lost that opportunity now. Though. Needs to, uh, needs to undo the arm and turn. I don't know if he's uh, trying to freeze arm or try to set up a Kamara. No. Nope. Needs to uh, explode and spin. Well, that's exactly what he's done. His back is against the cage, but the takedown threat is nullified. Yeah, especially after we saw we saw the big takedowns from Quinn in the same position in the first round, but I don't know if he's going to have still the same output. Um, whether he's got that explosion left in him to finish with a big takedown. He's looking for a whole lot of symbols for this right there. If he can lock his hands up here, he might have another takedown. And there we go, he's going to be careful with the team. Mauer looks like he's got hold of the neck, but I don't know if he's going to be able to do much of it from there. No, he needs to uh, he needs to recover guard before he's going to come to play with the that guillotine. But he goes down again as down the down guard's again. recovered. So he was threatening with the guillotine, but now Quinn's popped his head out. He's in a dominant position. Well, he's on the top position. Mauer looking to set up the triangle. Yeah, he's passed. It's he's a bit sloppy, but there. he's got it. He needs to put it behind the knee. This could be it. Um, oh, he's let it go. Yeah. But he's given up his back. Let's see if he can scramble around to that back. I don't know if I can in. take this. He really just giving up submission. One gets submission, other gets submission. This ain't good for me. <laughs> <laughs> he can still get this fight to the mat. He can reap the leg. He can pull him back down. But he's yeah. looking like he's trying to. <laughs> he's to he's trying to slip through to the back to go for choke. Yeah. Then Mauer, he gets a single leg. Both guys looking exhausted now. There's not long left in round number three. It's been a grueling, grueling fight. I'm not surprised both guys are looking tired here. Yeah, it's this, been a definite grind. This work against the cage, you know, takes so much out of your body as a fighter. Nice knee. Good knee. Finish strong, last 10 seconds. Wow, great right hand from Mauer. And again, Another right hands, he's trying to finish it strong. Boom, there we have it, going to the judges for the official decision, Kid Steel contenders at the Doncaster Dome. Remember if you enjoyed that guys, the next big event is going to be at Sheffield Arena on July the 13th, so look out for tickets. I cannot wait for that event, it's going to That's be going absolutely to be phenomenal. Massive. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for both fighters. What an outstanding bout of MMA! And after three fast and furious hard four rounds, your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner.